All right, so what I wanted to explain is the same thing. We have 2x plus y. What we need to do is determine if this is going to be a linear relation or not. So we talked about linear relations. Remember, linear relations is when we think about the graphical linear relations, that's a line, right? So whatever we need to make a line. And the one thing we talked about when dealing with a line was if chase, it is going to, um, we could put it in our formations of our line. So we talked about two equations of a line. One was y equals mx plus b. And the other one was their standard form, which is ax plus by equals c. So all we need to do is we need to say, can we kind of transform this into either one of these equations? Well, since I noticed this is already in this format, where b is my, I don't know why I did lowercase b. But you can see that my b is my 1. I automatically know that this is a linear relation. However, rather than always trying to write them in these two formats, there's another way that we can always think of when do we always have linear relations. We always have linear relations, one, when the exponent of our variables is always 1. If you have an exponent other than 1, you're not dealing with the linear relation. OK? Say if that, that was 3y, it wouldn't have been a linear equation. No. As long as the exponent, if your exponent is anything other than 1, even negative 1, as long as it's, if it's, your exponents are different than 1, you do not have a linear relation. Any time you see an exponent that's different than 1. The other way that you can relate to not having 1 and not having a linear relation is if you have your variable on your denominator. Yeah, these are examples of not linear relations. This is a linear relation. No, what? What if it was y3? Yes, as long as your variable is not on the bottom, or you're dealing with y times x equals 4. These are all not linear relations. All right, Or you could say y squared, 2y squared plus 3x equals 5. All right. So whenever you have a variable other than 1, you have your variables multiplied by each other, or you have a variable on the denominator, you do not have a linear relation. As long as it doesn't cover one of those, this doesn't have any of that, does it? So therefore, this is a linear relation. And also, we can prove that because we can write it in both of these forms, as this is already in standard form. So that's why I know it's a linear relation. Make sense? Maybe? Kind of? OK. okay.